The debut of the electric vehicle that some say should replace the city's horse-drawn carriages. CBS News' Janelle Burrell joins us live from Central Park with the latest. Janelle? And good morning to you, Mary. This morning, we are getting mixed reaction from people we showed that new design to. But if Mayor de Blasio and animal rights advocates get their way, their so-called e-carriages could replace horse-drawn carriages here in Central Park. And this morning, we're giving you a sneak peek at the prototype. What you're looking at is the type of vehicle that ignited the world's love affair with cars. And this antique style, fully electric car could soon be the new way to enjoy a scenic cruise around Central Park as the possible replacement for the city's horse-drawn carriages. I mean, this is New York City and the wow factor's got to be there. CBS2 got a first look at this shiny new set of wheels designed by Jason Wenig of Florida. He was given nearly half a million dollars to research, design and build this prototype for animal rights advocate group NYCLASS whose members believe the horses should be banned. But they continue to face plenty of opposition. I don't think people will want to get out of a car to take a ride in another car. Carriage horse owners like Anita Jarami say the iconic carriage rides are part of Central Park's appeal. The people come for the horses and the people come to see them. And without them, I don't think there would be a tour of the Central Park the same way as it is now. New Yorkers we showed the car to were split on the new design. The electronic, yeah. no. Yeah. No, no. I like to know, know better the horses. I think this look beautiful. And it preserves the nostalgia a little bit, I guess. Mayor de Blasio, who's vowing to deliver on his campaign promise of banning the horse-drawn carriages, has said he'd like to have them out of the park by the end of this year. Wenig says if and when the decision is made, he's ready to roll. Next steps are determined by people other than me. But when I'm called upon and ready to build more of these things, I'm ready to go. Now, the horse ban, of course, would first have to be approved by the city council. And if they do, go ahead and give the green light. 68 of those electronic cars that you see would replace the horses here in Central Park. This morning, we are live in Central Park. Janelle Burrell, CBS2 News.